Travel firm Thomas Cook has collapsed after last-minute negotiations aimed at saving the 178-year-old holiday business failed. Well, why has this happened? Well, the company has been overburdened with debt and having asked the market for a further £200 million on top of the £900 million package that had already been agreed with shareholders, it became obvious over the weekend that it was a failing business. Add to this the move online for the industry. Thomas Cook had over 500 high street branches, which couldn't compete with others that have a less expensive business model. Additionally, the management has repeatedly blamed Brexit and also the better weather in the UK, where more Brits chose to stay at home. What happens now? The UK Civil Aviation Authority has triggered the biggest ever peacetime repatriation of citizens aimed at bringing more than 150,000 British holidaymakers home. The tour operator's failure puts 22,000 jobs at risk worldwide, including 9,000 in the UK. Shareholders are unlikely to get much, if anything, back with bondholders the priority. So far as the shares are concerned, obviously, this is how the shares ended out Friday's trade at 3.56 pence each. Uh, but more importantly, today we've got this big rise at the start of the day session with a gain of more than 8% for TUI shares, arch rival here in the UK. Those uh, stocks are now trading off the highs at 895 0.9 pence. If you're now short on this, your stop would go above the top of recent trading. But clearly, TUI has a lot to make out of this opportunity in the market left by Thomas Cook. For more videos from us here at IGTV, join us on Twitter at IGTV and subscribe to our YouTube channel.